the idea that because we live in Australia and we have access to a hospital system, we have access to caesarean surgery uh, and the whole gamut of machines that go ping, that therefore it's safe, is probably the biggest furphy. Women are not told, usually, that interventions in childbirth can affect psychological outcomes, can affect the interaction between the mother and the baby. And that is a bigger mission. It's treated, usually, as if this is peripheral and rather flimsy information and that we're sort of new age hippies if we're interested in it at all. Australia is doing very well with regards to safety. We're right up in the top rankings of safety. Um, and so in terms of really um, serious problems, they're, they're very low. Uh, for um, a baby um, dying uh, in, in childbirth, it, it's less than one in a hundred. And most of those are related to actual, actual congenital defects and abnormalities. Uh, for the risk of, of mother um, uh, dying in, in uh, childbirth, it's of, of the order of a 10 in 100,000, so uh, incredibly low. We don't lose many babies um, in Australia. We're very lucky because we've got good nutrition and good social circumstances. But what we do lose is a lot of marriages and a lot of relationships and a lot of people's mental health after childbirth. We have a very limited view about safety in maternity care. Essentially, it's live baby and live mother. Now, of course, those are ultimately the most important thing, but they're not the only thing. And when we focus so much on the what I call the tip of the iceberg in this situation, we actually often ignore great underlying dangers that we don't address. For example, you know, cultural safety, emotional safety, psychological, spiritual safety are not addressed. We know that postpartum depression is rising. We know that suicide is one of the leading causes of maternal death in this country. That's not safe care. When we see three to five women uh, per hundred coming out with such extreme distress, post-traumatic stress disorder, something that soldiers experience after, after war. What are we saying? So birth is a battlefield? We are the only species of mammal that mistreats our mothers. And we expect them to be able to suck it up and perform like the perfect mother after we've harassed these, these young moms. A woman is more likely to develop PTSD if she feels that all control has been taken from her and she is the passive object of other people's ministrations. She isn't asked for consent, for example, for different maneuvers which they may do. Um, she's supposed to shut up and get on with it and let them do the birth. And she comes out of that feeling helpless. And this helplessness can persist in other areas of her life too. So it's not just the birth. But she gives up and feels that she, it isn't justified for her to take over responsibility for anything. And um, women can feel this for many, many years. I've had women in their 60s and 70s ring me to talk about births which they haven't yet worked through. And this experience has stayed with them and incapacitated them. <laughs> 